So it's been a slow news day, but there's been some couple of little trickles of information out there that I thought I would talk about in a video where we have more than one topic because sometimes I like to do these every now and again when there's like loads of little bits of information that I wouldn't normally talk. I suppose it's loose ends. I'm tying up the loose ends that are going around the internet. Number one is that um, Zen 3 and uh, X670, I suppose, uh, will be uh, X670 is going to launch near the end of the year. That's a report. You can check it on WC, WCCF Tech. I can't remember the name of the guy who originally uh, made the leak. I suppose. Um, or yeah, whatever. I, I really don't know who 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 this is from. But um, basically, yeah. See, X X670 will be coming out in um, Q Q4, I suppose. But if I show you this. This makes, see, this is AMD's official slide, and you have to go with official information. This looks like AMD is trying to tell you that it's going to come out before 2021, because, you know, there's 17, it launched after the beginning of 17, there's 21, so I'd imagine if AMD was, the, these slides are always a little bit misleading by AMD, but you'd imagine it would be somewhere here. So Zentry is on track, but does that mean it's on track to be starting to be manufactured? Like shipping, shipping, on track for it. Shipping, I would imagine if they're shipping, 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 you would hope it would be shipping. So I, I like did this article say 2021. I would like to believe that AMD are probably got like, like, um, what's it? July, I suppose is the one year anniversary of Zen. So if it's, if it's like December or, or, you know, uh, November, whatever, it's, it's over a year since Zen 1 has been on the market, so therefore it's okay to give people an upgrade. AMD, it's fine, it's grand, it's wonderful. I think AMD, you know, are ordering massive amounts of wafers, 30,000 wafers or something like that from TSMC. They're doubling their order from 50 to 30,000, or are they upping it to 30? I don't know. But anyway, so as Apple moves off the 7 nanometer process, AMD are going to go on more deeper into 7 nanometer process. I just realized of like all, like my daughter is, has a cold at the moment, and she seems to think that I'm a tissue fun anyway yeah so zen oh by the way if you want a tissue for your daughter merch down below if you want to do that anyway no obligation but yeah so um yeah zen is going to be launching and um it's going to be launching at the end of the year there's not really much to say about that other than it's going to be december or it's going to be january but you're getting zen and it's going to be amazing and it's going to be faster and it's going to have more cores probably not more cores but it's going to be each individual core is going to be way faster so it's probably going to be like a zen one launch where they kind of keep the core count the same as the previous stuff but like you know you're getting massive ipc gains and clock speed and all that jazz and yeah five gigahertz anybody starts talking about five gigahertz get out of your head get it out of your head remove it from your mind it uh, i'd be very surprised Maybe, but I'll be very, 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 like very, un I don't, shouldn't even say maybe because people start rumor mills. Probably not. <sighs> More than likely not. Anyway, yeah, so Zen 4000 coming soon, I suppose. And when you, when you think of it, it's mind blowing that we're already halfway through the first month of this year. Before you know it, you'll be into, you know, you'll be, you start be talking about like Computex and stuff like that. And then before you know it, you're already into the next part of the year, and that's when AMD are probably going to start talking about Zen 3. I haven't really said much, but that's when they're going to start talking about it. I'm curious to see whether AMD pushes Epic this time before they push Zen, or whether they keep on their, their cadence of, of, of launching Zen before they launch Epic. I would imagine they would, and they've already said that Epic's ready, like, is going to be gone this year. So if Epic's going to be gone this year, uh, you know, I would I would be of the opinion that Zen's going to come before Epic. But we shall see. We shall see. Um, there's no, no concrete information other than this, as I said, slide here which just says nothing other than before 2021 this is an interesting one but also kind of a bit of bollocksology um you know amd's rx 5600 xt gets powered by navi blah blah blah, blah. with so xle so the rx 5600 xt we know it, it has a different name than um than the other one and there was another one out today which i tweeted about i thought was hilarious the 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 rx 5600 xt benefits greatly from overclocking well sh no shit sherlock it's just a 5700 clocked differently and probably power limited in some way so that you can't really get to the clocks of like i would imagine these are going to all have six pins or eight pins so they're all going to just have eight pins I, you know, and then the bias is probably going to be set up on them so so, uh, so much so that they can't use any more than a certain amount of power limit. And then somebody, probably Eager's Labs, will figure out a way to give it more power. And before you know it, you'll have a 
memory limited 5700 i would just buy a 5700 because like like the other one i suppose is 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 this one where they're talking about the p the, the custom pcb uh you know the custom aib partner 5700s and i hope you can see you can see that i don't need to like they're just they're, like they're there I'll, I'll show you the screen there you go there like this is the 5700 this is the 5600 xt and oh look it turns at 1620 megahertz wow that's amazing probably like these cores could probably if they weren't screwed with by amd could probably do 1900 megahertz they've just power limited them and and because as i said before before all of this launched i told you that the 5600 xt was just months before it's launched i told you it was just going to be a really crippled 5700 it's not going to be any separate die it's not going to be anything magic it's just going to be a crippled navi 10 die by crippling the memory bus and lowering the clock speed and here's what we have a card that essentially amd is telling you they could sell for probably 279 dollars but they're not going to but and, and it, it you know cost saving exercise remove a little bit of memory one chip of memory is not going to make a massive difference in the terms of, of, of pricing these things it, it would like they could have sold navi for navi 10 for like the, the 5700 they could have sold for 279 dollars if they wanted to because this is the same fucking silicon here it is 5700 XT, except for it has two less gigabytes of RAM and less memory bandwidth. There, ergo, vis-a-vis -vis crippling its performance. There's already talk of overclocking the memory, getting you seven percent extra performance. You are increasing the perform the cl the memory by more than seven percent, though. So it's not full one hundred percent limited by that. Um, it, it, would, it would make sense that it would do fourteen hundred. Like if these die, like they're probably just underclocking memory. It's probably the same fucking memory. They're still underclocking it. If they're doing that, yeah, whatever. Like it's 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 bullshit. But like that's that's the way AMD decided to, decided to segment their market, and these cards will be good for it. mediocre for the price that they're offering. Um, but like we've already seen Nvidia make a move, not even Nvidia EVJ make a move to sell a, an RTX 2060 for cheaper. Maybe some of the other AMD partners will get on board, and you've got 2060 you compete, and it's just a six gigabyte card versus a six gigabyte card. There's no fucking arguing, and it's exactly the way uh, Nvidia save money and scrimp by literally cutting down their dies to nothing so that they can make it save a book and then don't pass it on to you in fact increase the price um it, like the aib does, 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 as i said there's another one about these aib partners which is not interesting to me it doesn't interest me at all because why would it interest you Um, you know there's um you're gonna see cards that are gonna be now 300 310 dollars would you want one of them or would you want to just buy a custom variant for 300 i uh, sorry a, a stock variant from amd directly 350 dollars you get a stock 5700 xt or 5700 for 350 dollars which is going to be faster than this card granted it has a shitty cooler on it but to be honest this this die is is underclocked like the 5700 is underclocked so it, it doesn't really need a good cooler happy days like genuinely happy days the 5700 is a great card the problem is is 350 but when when you're looking at 310 like i would just i genuinely would mow a few more lawns or get a second job whatever Go, don't buy coffee for a week that's what i don't you know s silly stuff like you don't need to, you don't need to get a second job because the price is so like literally i don't know um sell something small you have lying around on 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 craigslist get another 30 dollars 40 and just buy a fucking 5700 because these cards the, the there's no going to be no reference model which is a problem because then you don't get the reference price you're not gonna like i haven't found uh an rx 5500 in ireland and in europe i haven't seen many that are at msrp um like i think i had to pay uh 204 euro for a 5500 xt so you're not going to find um you're not going to find any cards at msrp at launch and this is if this is because of the fact that there's no reference design like nvidia launches a reference design for nearly all of their cards except for the really 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 low skews these cards would be good if they were priced at 230 dollars or 240 dollars exactly the same as the rx 480 was launched at but it's not going to happen it, look there's enough i'm done complaining about pricing but they're so close to a rx 5700 that they're just stupid 
and they don't make any sense and you should like 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 this is sounds like, like silly because i'm telling you to buy a 350 dollar card which shouldn't be because these should be the cards that you should be looking forward to because these should be and at two at, i think a hundred dollars 120 dollars cheaper even at 250 they're 100 dollars cheaper you can start going okay right grand maybe you should buy this but they're gonna cost 300 quid at launch at that point they, they become redundant to me if you're going to cost 300 quid and you're going to spend 300 quid well then you should probably spend 350 quid and get a vastly superior card a card with actual eight gigabytes of ram a card with full 256 bit memory memory interface and a card that's that, that that beats a 2060 rather than a card that's probably going to lose to a cheap 2060 that new vga is selling you that's my opinion that's my two cents you can take it or leave it you can do whatever you want with that but that's my opinion on that and there's not really uh, other other than that there's, there's the, you know intel drop zeons pricing well you need it to because like the, the they, they discontinued some zeons and they discounted some zeons in my opinion like intel like they're selling everything they have so they don't really need to drop prices but surprise surprise they did and um, maybe that's to kind of keep people on their side i don't know uh, if i was somebody looking at building a new data center or building a new server or building something i'd be, I'd be on amd all, all along because they just beat them and everything even at the same price intel are not worth it that's my opinion but other people seem to think differently and i can i'm entitled to my opinion but the main main talking point of this video, I suppose, is that RX 5500, 5600 XT, it's silly at tr above 300 quid. It's barely possible at $279. Like, I don't know what AMD's marketing team is at. Do they think they're going to take it to NVIDIA with these pricings? You have to, you're going to have to take the 1660 Ti and kick it into next fucking year. To, to, to sell this card because that's what you need to do and from the benchmarks i've seen it beats it yeah it beats it and amd are done lying about benchmarks so it probably will beat it slightly five ten percent faster but and probably there's an argument that you could probably overclock this and get it closer to an rx 5700 yeah but i would just like to see the 5700 costing 279 dollars that i'd be fine with that i would be absolutely cool with that'd be grand right even then, that's that's a price hike on what we used to get, but it's still a bloody good card for the price. Two hundred seventy nine dollars for an RX fifty seven hundred is 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 a bloody good price, but we're not going to get that. We've gotten this instead, and all this states to you is that AMD are like everybody slated me at launch when I ripped into the fifty seven hundred XT when I said it was too expensive, when I said it wasn't going to help AMD win the market them in the market mind share and market uh, share battle i said it wasn't going to do that people are still going to buy nvidia with these prices i said that that is maintained and continued to be true so everybody who said that i was wrong about that is just wrong because clearly they're not selling you can get them everywhere nvidia cards are over msrp a lot of the time they're hard to come by whereas these cards are just everywhere they're discounting them to below 300 dollars probably going to stop now uh, now the 50s that that's what this just says to you that they're done they're not like they're not going to lower prices everyone's like they will lower prices eventually they're just trying to draw nvidia into a price war blah 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 blah. because that 50 dollar price price go no they never they don't have any intention with this card that's what this card says to you that they have no intention of dropping prices anyway look i'm done and giving out our prices like i still i still give out on them i shouldn't um but yeah like this i don't understand who it's for what it's for as with every one of AMD's graphics card launches, like the reviewers are going to say this is great because it's cheaper and it's probably going to be it's like the same price and it's faster. So they're going to say, yeah, it's good. But um, for me, like I think I think Nvidia have it sewn up with the sixty and sixty super because it's almost as fast as sixty and sixty Ti, and it's it's significantly cheaper, like two hundred thirty dollars. So I think I think this card needed to be two hundred thirty two hundred forty dollars. And then you're, you're you're talking about making a show of Nvidia's of, of Nvidia's cards. And then Nvidia needs to take a long hard think about it. But what these companies have decided to do is find niches in the market where they don't have to compete with each other, where they don't have to have a row, where they don't have to fight over it. And if they're what AMD have said is if we're a little bit faster, we'll probably are a little bit faster. The same, we're probably going to sell it for about the same price as you. And uh, you know if if we're not. Um, if we're not beating you, we're gonna sell a slightly discounted and find a niche in between. And it's just it's it's it like it, it's tit for tat and it's not really it's not a real scrap like two behemoths fighting it. They, they should be killing each other for pricing. Um NVIDIA can sell all the graphics cards in the world. It's AMD's job to turn people's heads. They're not doing it with these cards. These cards are designed to make uh, to, to to 
derive money from their already existing fans. That's what this is for. Uh, you shouldn't be a fan of a company. You should be a user of a graphics card. You should want a card that does the job for you. I wanted 1440p gaming. I bought the cheapest 1440p gaming mod mod modern card I could buy, which was an RX 5700 XT. I wish I could have got that a lot cheaper. I genuinely believe I should have got that a lot cheaper. And that's going to be my opinion until they release something else. Anyway, like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. But if you disliked it, tell me why you disliked it. Can't fix it if I don't know what I did wrong. And in the comments, let me know what you think about when you think Zen 3 is going to launch. I'm interested, genuinely interested to hear your thoughts on when you think Zen 3 is going to launch. I'm also interested to hear uh, what you think of the 5600 XT. Do you think at 300 quid it's worth it? I, I don't. I think you just buy a 5700, especially since you get some of them at 300. I haven't found many to date at 300. Like they come on sale every now and again, but then they just disappear uh, because people are buying them because clearly that's a fucking deal. But people are not buying them at $350 AMD. Clearly the people are trying to tell you something. Um, yeah. And other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also, there's a little questionnaire at the end. If you want me to answer your questions on a live stream, please post them in the comments. If I get enough, if I get enough questions, I'll go back through this video in a couple of days and I'll decide whether I'm going to do a live stream. I'll answer your questions live on air and I will, I will, I will make like schedule a live stream because I think it's overdue for a live stream. I thought I was going to try and do a couple more live streams and I haven't got around to it, so I will try and do one next week. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, have a nice day. Uh, merch. If you want some merch, if you want to give me money for just being me, uh, Patreon, PayPal and um yeah thanks for everything else don't forget to share my video sharing is the way to help me out the most i'll talk to you next one i'm gonna press this button stop recording bye 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 bye